Hey everybody, Sam back once again, and yes, as you can tell by the title of the video, we're going to show you the message application and how you can customize it. So, let's check it out. So first of all, you're going to want to go to your message application. Now this is for the S6 and the S6 Edge. Now on here you're thinking, well that's pretty boring. So we're going to show you some of the settings, we're going to show you what you can do with it. So if you go into more, jump into your settings. You can have notifications on or off. I recommend having them on if you want to reply to people. You get your background in your bubble. So this is the part where a lot of people were interested previously. So as you can see, this is what it looks like out of the box. If you think, oh, I want to jazz it up a little bit, then look, you can change it. So as I go along, you can see it changes them every time you click a new one. You're thinking, oh, I don't like that background. You can change the background as well. You have a nice darker background with some little nice little boxes there. As you can see, it just changes the whole look of it. Now there's not many options in all honesty in terms of these here, but you can choose your own background. So if you've got a favorite color or a picture you want on there, just tap the little icon, you can go to your pictures and Bob's your uncle. But that's pretty much it in terms of the customization. It's not a lot, um, it's better than it than like than not being able to do it, I suppose, but I would have liked some more options here, maybe some downloadable options. But for now, that's pretty much what you get out of the box. Um, if you do want to apply different themes, then you should get more options as well. But for now, that's pretty much all you are going to get. So if we come out of here, you then get quick responses. So you can add new ones on here. So these are, again, these are the ones you get out of the box. So if you, let's say, get a text message, you can say, right, I want to do a quick reply and click, boom, sorry I missed your call. How's it going? What's up? Where are you? Again, quick responses is pretty much what it says on the tin. You got your spam filter, so you can manage your spam numbers. So if you get somebody that always texts you those bloody chain things, you think, you know, you know, piddle off, piss off, then you can add their number to that. You can manage the spam phrases, so like, win this, or you've won a free holiday, etc. You can put that in there as well, and then your spam messages. So if you want to check them at any point, you can check them. Think of it as like your email, then you can just go into a check them on there. You then got more settings. So, yep, you got your settings, then your more settings. So, you got text messages, you can have delivery ports on or off, manage your SIM card messages, input method, and your obviously your message center. You got your multimedia messages, a uh, array of different options for you there. Push messages, sell broadcast, delete all messages. So, you can delete them all when it gets to around a thousand, I think it is, and a hundred for the multimedia messages. Going back out of there and going back to the main thing. If you want to send a text message, now this is pretty important to some people, you can click your contacts and it takes you to all your contacts. You can alternatively start typing and what will happen is your contacts will start coming to the little list here. Once you want to, once you find your desired contact, tap on them and away you go. In here, you can attach a, a variety of different things. So as you can see, you can go to images, you can go to take a picture, video, you can add your current pictures on your phone as well. You can record video, audio, record audio, memo, calendar, maps, and obviously contacts. And we'll go out of that one. You can do different smileys. So here's your different array of different smileys, etc. Just remember, if you pick one on here, it may look differently if they get it on their device. So if they've not got a Samsung, or if they've got an iPhone, it's probably not going to look exactly like this. The look will look slightly different on there. So yeah, just remember to take that into consideration when you are doing it. And once you're ready to send, click send, and away it goes. That's it. It's pretty straightforward. You can do in here your quick responses. That's how you send them. Schedule a message, which is pretty cool. And the message options, you think, and what's that one? Well, you can add a subject and add a slide. So if you say you want to add a slide, boom, it's converted to a multimedia message. And now if you send it, even if you're just putting text on there, it's going to send it as a multimedia I wouldn't recommend doing that, but you can do if you want to. But you can go to more, you can schedule a message. So if you want to, you can say, right, I want to send a message at on the 19th and I want to send it at 25 past midnight, 25 past midnight. Click done. What will happen is any message you choose to send will send at that particular time. That's pretty cool. I think that's awesome. Um, and that's pretty much it. I mean, again, you've got your schedule, your quick responses, sorry. It's like, oh, where are you? And it pops it in there for you straight away. That's not something I've used, in all honesty. But if you are a frequent person, a frequent texter of where are you, then that might be quicker. Well, who knows? But that's it. That's the text message application, the options, customization, the settings, or whatever you want to call it. 
And just before I end the video, um, I forgot to show you within the more, I just went straight to settings. You also do get font size, so if you have bad eyes, you can go to huge, extra large, large, medium, small, extra small, tiny, and also use the device uh, font sizes. You've also got your locked messages, so if you want, you could write, put messages into here, and they just don't effectively dis ever disappear. And then finally, you've got um, add proud senders. If you go into there, you can choose, let's say, three, four, five people. They want a, a literally the top of the list when you're going to send somebody a message. And they always get priority over other people in your phone. So, yeah. Sorry I didn't show you those. Anyway, let's uh, go back to the end of the video. Yeah, it's been a bit longer than expected for this video. But that's it. Do you have any questions about it? Because if you do, you know what to do by now. You can hit me up down below. Don't forget to hit me up on Twitter, at Sam J. Pullen. If you do enjoy my type of videos, then please hit the like button. It is very much appreciated. And go on, subscribe. It's free. Go on. Anyway, thank you for watching. And you shall hopefully see me in my next video. Cheers, everyone.